So, I actually do not do this so often, but today I'll be building a Game Boy for myself. Yes, a Game Boy for myself. And it's gonna be a Game Boy Dance SP with the IPS V3 mod with this see-through blue shell that I think looks really cool. Hopefully this won't take too long to get, get together. One thing I actually do not like, oh yes, it's one of those shelves, okay. So it's like matte. Because I actually built one of these for a customer and it was not matte, it was just not matte, okay. And it got scratches so easily. Uh, it even got scratched up a lot once it was in my possession, like when I built it, it got so many, I mean, not many, but it got a lot of scratches on the outside from just being at my place. But this thing will last because it is met. So, you know what, let's just start building it. Black buttons, really cool. So first of all, I will find these two covers. One there, one there. Here are the two pieces of the hinge. And if I'm not mistaken, this one goes here. Let's see here. think so it acts really weird let's get this out let's see here it's probably on the other side uh, yes there we go okay good Figured that out. You know what? Let's get these buttons out. Oh, I think they're glow in the dark buttons, actually. Look at those. Those look different. So they might be glow in the dark buttons. That's cool. Great. Second one. Got that off. Where did I put the other cover? There it is. Now this is gonna be... Great. Boom, hinge is perfect. Super. Now I'll actually start with the screen. Let's get it out of here. I actually modded another one just like five minutes ago. But it was a Pokemon version, this one. Also IPS screen, of course. But that was for a customer. This one is for me. Boom. Okay. Let's see here. Fine. Boom. It costs about... How much does it cost? It costs about 130 bucks to build one of these for me. So not cheap, but most likely worth it. Let me just get this off. Double-sided, double-tided, double-sided tape. There we go. This cable actually by itself costs about $30. That's crazy. Crazy. Boom. Get the top of the double-sided tape. There we go. Just gonna twist this. Wait, did I do that wrong? Nope, 
I did not. There we go. Now, I'll not mess up how I did on the other one because I forgot to put in this pad. Let's put it right there. Perfect. Now, this up where are the screws where's the screws Kyler where are the screws here they are boom on right there I lost the head of my screwdriver somewhere should find that honestly because otherwise it might be a little hard to finish this job this made this job much easier there we go I mean, not much easier, but a little faster and easier. Boom. Boom. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna put this thing in. There we go. That is the wrong one, okay. Put this thing in. the speaker hopefully it works this time it has no issues there we go now let's not put in that for yet now motherboard close and then find the back and the oh it's right here boom let's see if this battery works no i'm guessing it's dead uh, yeah, let's just take it out of the one I just modded. I haven't replaced the battery on that one yet. I haven't had time to check. I just need to get done with the videos before mom gets home. Oh, boom, perfect. I'll give the power switch a clean but it looks perfect. Great. So now I just need to solder the, where is it here? This thing to the motherboard. So let me just do that off camera and I'll be right back. So yeah, that worked. Now just need to put 
last piece. Give it a little bow. Close this up. Thank God I found it because black buttons, I wouldn't be able to, I mean, I would have to order them and they actually fit pretty well. So I would, yeah, I would have to order them. I don't want to replace them with some gray ones. They fit pretty well. So now, I'm just gonna put this back together. That is in. That is down there. Oh yeah, let's give this power switch a little clean. A little clean, clean. Boom. Close this up. You know what? Let's test let's test out if the brightness works. Changing brightness works. I just make sure. Uh yeah, there's the battery. Yes, it does. Cool. Coolsies. Yeah, this looks like a good Game Boy. A real good looking Game Boy. Boom. Boom. Almost the last screw. The last screw is gonna be the battery cover. Boom, look at that, you can see the cent central processing unit right there. Wait, how much can I zoom into this? Okay, this is like the micro zoom feature. There you can see CPU 2002. It's actually not that old, are we? Okay, camera, focus, thank you. There we go. Yup, looks real good. But I'm not done with you yet. I'm gonna put this battery in. Because honestly, new batteries are overrated. Oh, yeah, but this one is actually a little damaged. The plastic on it is. Question is, can I remove the plastic on it? the outside plastic without damaging the look of the battery because that's the most important part on this thing that it looks good through the plastic yeah you know what I'll just keep this one I think it is better to just keep it like that last screw oh that is a hair from an animal that's interesting Yeah, this battery fits as perfectly. 
was the other one. Boom. Let's slap on the off-brand copyright fake Nintendo logo. That looks really real, even though it's 100% fake. Come on. I'm suffering here. I'm suffering. There we go. Boom. Boom. Now, let's take a look at this. Wait. Okay, yeah, okay, one more thing is these things. I actually also have black ones right here, right there, but I'm not gonna use those because I don't really want them. I think these glow-in-the-dark ones would fit better. Don't know why. I just feel like they look cooler if they actually glow in the dark. Yeah, they have to. They're definitely glow-in-the-dark ones. You know what? Let's also test the glow-in-the-dark feature. Because it is awesome. Awesome stuff. Great. Yeah, okay. It might not fit that well, these, but... Should I have them black? You know what? No, nah, let's have them black. Feel it feels like it fits better. And it could be distracting. But the buttons, if they glow, that's really sick. Those I would not change to black. These, I mean, I feel like black fits. Yeah, black fits a little better. Because the screen frame black, buttons black. Everything black. And blue, dark blue. Fits really well. Boom. That's how you know it's my Game Boy because I choose what I want to do with it. There we go, fits perfectly. Now, let's grab a Ease Flash. Let's charge it up. And yeah, I'll be right back. And boom, look at it. With the ease flash in the back. Let's turn this on. Adjustable brightness, of course. Only the best. Let's go into Mario Kart. Look at the screen. Let's also check out the glow in the dark feature. But I'll also just make sure. Wait. Yeah, I can play Mario Kart on this thing. Because these flash is actually good quality. Unlike the other one. Okay, let's just hold it up to the light for a second. Let's see here. Let's check out the glow. Oh my god, okay. Holy moly. Look at this. Okay, it doesn't actually glow that much. It glows much more on screen. But you can see it, it's noticeable, but it's not annoying at all. On screen it looks annoying because of how bright it is, but it's actually not that bright as you see on screen. Is it possible to? Yeah, okay, it's too bright, but yeah, you can. Wow, okay, it looks awesome, okay? It looks awesome. Like, even here, I can see that it's glow in the dark. Cool. Yeah, so that's it. That's my g daily Game Boy Advance SP, I guess. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.